Yakuza 0. Yo, I've been dying to take a look at the Yakuza series on this channel, and one of my long-term goals is to play each one of the mainline games in the series. Yakuza is a series that blew me away the first time I played Zero. I was easily drawn in with this amazing storyline, rememberable characters, its crazy action, the amazing soundtrack, and much more. This game was easily one of my favorite titles of 2017, and I was telling everyone to jump on this series immediately. That's how much I love this game. Now, this review may contain spoilers, so keep that in mind while watching Watching this and oh, if I mispronounce your favorite character's name, please forgive me. Let's get into it. Yakuza was originally released on the PlayStation 2 in 2005, and this game was developed by Sega, and you guys know how I feel about Sega. I was already pretty curious about the series long before Zero was announced. Zero was presented to be a prequel story for Kiru and Majima, so I found it to be the perfect opportunity to jump into the series. And man, I'm glad that I did. Let's jump into the story. The game starts off with one of our main characters, Kiru, a young Yakuza, performing a collection job for this businessman. Kiru gets the money owed, but come to find out the guy he collected the money from ends up being murdered in his empty lot and Kiru is framed for this murder. Now in the Yakuza, they have a very strict honor code, so if you murder a civilian, that is looked at as a huge deal. Kiru becomes desperate to prove his innocence, so he ends up leaving the Dojima family in the Tojo clan and joining up with the likes of Tachibana Real Estate. Now, here's where things get a little interesting. That empty lot where the murder happened is extremely valuable to the Dojima family for the Kamurocho expansion project. To sum it up, this lot has value beyond comprehension when it comes to money, power, and respect around Tokyo. We spend almost the entire game in this power struggle for this lot. Now we don't just follow the story of Kiru, we also have the story of Goro Majima. When we're introduced to Majima, he is a manager at this upscale cabaret club called The Grand. His motto, the customer is king. Coming to find out, he is only doing this out of obligation and wants to get back into the Yakuza. One day, Majima is instructed to finish this hit on a young woman named Mikado Mikamura, who is legally blind and also the owner of the empty lot. This is where our two storylines start to cross. Majima ends up really caring for Mikado and tries to protect her by any means necessary. Meanwhile, Kiru and Tachibana are also looking for her as well. Later in the story, we find out that Tachibana and Mikado are actually brother and sister and the story keeps getting even crazier. I won't spoil any more details here, I would say it's best to play this game for yourself. But man, this story kept me hooked from beginning to end. The voice acting is perfect and the pure sense of emotion in some of these scenes. They were really moving. I mean, they did a phenomenal job here. In terms of characters, I absolutely love Kiru and Majima, and they are easily two of my favorite video game characters of all time. Both are absolute badasses, and it was a joy to play as them both. I also really like the Dojima family lieutenants. Kuze with his deep voice and badass attitude, Awano, who is more flamboyant and also Busawanu with his quiet yet serious demeanor. These cast of characters are great and were actually the standouts for me. I also really like Nishiki, Kiru's sworn brother, but more on him in the next title. I also really like Tachibana and his sister Mikado. I felt really bad for both of them when certain details about their characters were revealed. It just made the ending even more meaningful and definitely got me in my feelings. It was great. Now, the gameplay. You spend most of your time wandering around Komorocho or Sunbury as Kiru and Majima. I love how alive these two areas are and just love how they look, especially at night with all the neon signs reflecting off the water. In these open areas, there is so much to do. You can go eat at a restaurant, complete side stories, and my personal favorite, hit up the Sega arcades for a good game of Space Harrier or Outrun. I spent way too much time in these arcades. There are also things like the cabaret management and the real estate to bring in the real cash, but but I honestly didn't really bother with this. You also have these random encounters with other Yakuza and street punks. This is where we get into the combat system. Think of a fully 3D Streets of Rage. This is what this plays like. We have all these over the top finishing moves and different fighting styles for each of the characters. For me, I like to use the thug style for Majima and the beast style for Kiru. Both gets the job done and the beast style is great for crowd control. I will say, I like to switch the rush style for Kiru during boss battles. I feel like I have more control in one-on-one -on -one situations. You also have this on rail shoot mission that I found pretty fun as well. Now this game does have a leveling system in the sense of this grid system. Essentially the money you earn can be used to improve your character's damage output, health, and even more. You also have side missions you can do as well in the form of sub stories and I will tell you some of these sub stories are hilarious. They're funny as hell and offer some much needed comic relief in this super serious plot. 
Now, in terms of the combat, the boss fights are clearly the standout moments. The fights against Kuze were my absolute favorite in the entire game, especially the fight in the sewer. You talk about epic. I also really love the final boss fight with Kiru against Basawanu. I was at the edge of my seat for this entire fight. It was so great and it was so epic. I also really love the quick time events. They're flashy, so make sure that you pay attention. Yakuza 0 is easily one of the best story I played in any video game. That alone alone is worth the purchase, but mix that with a fun battle system, beautiful open areas, amazing voice acting, a kick out soundtrack, I mean what more can you ask for? This is one of the best games Sega has ever produced and I stand by that. I highly recommend this game for you guys, go play this now, you can find this on PS4 and on Steam for the PC. I thank you all for watching and I'll see you next time.